Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Watch, President Trump delivers a brutal knockout to NATO. Pay your fair share. I have always been a firm believer in NATO. The North Atlantic Trade Organization was really needed after World War II to help European nations recover and get back on their feet. Europe was devastated after the war. They were flattened. NATO was formed in large part to protect the European nations from Russia. Since then, the United States has carried most of the burden of funding NATO and has been treated very badly by most of the countries involved. I was fascinated by President Trump's stress down of the leaders of these countries and I think he was absolutely right to say what he did today. President Trump has demanded that the NATO alliance countries pay their fair share. He asked that by 2020, they pony up 2% of their GDP. That's hardly their fair share, but it's a start. Trump has managed to get more out of these leaders than any president before him. It sounds like a lot of money, but comparatively speaking, it's not. He even told them they should bump it up to 4%, which they will never do. Only five countries have done 2% and they are not the big boys in all this. We help them recover, but it's been 70 years. Enough is enough and we should no longer be shouldering the lion's share of the cost here. Trump nailed Germany at this meeting. They are doing exactly what Ronald Reagan said they would do. We have troops and bases in Germany to protect them from the Russians, but they are buying their gas from them now. They have made themselves economically captive to their enemy. It's insane. Trump delivered a brutal knockout to Germany and NATO by hitting them with this and a demand to pay their fair share of the costs. Trump came prepared and as a leader, he far outshone those around him at that table. The head of the EU told Trump to tread lightly because he has few allies left. Well, then why should we protect and fund those who are not our allies? Barack Obama groveled before these people. It was humiliating. John Kerry came out today and said that Trump set things back hundreds of years with our allies. No, he didn't. He took a step in leveling the playing field and removing us from being the jester at the EU court. Something Kerry has personal experience with. When Trump called these so-called leaders out, they looked like they were about to have an accident. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I can't understand why John Kelly looked like he wanted to hide somewhere. You can bet that Pompeo didn't. And wherever Bolton was, he would not hide either. I believe he's in Russia right now, laying the groundwork for Trump's summit with Putin. Let me tell you something. You do not remain a world power by caving to your allies or diplomatically cowering in a corner. Trump was magnificent in taking a stand for America and all I heard from the media was backstabbing while he was doing it. Shame on them. Especially Shepard Smith of Fox News. His behavior on air was simply disgraceful. We are protecting Germany. France and the rest of NATO. They in turn go to Russia for their energy needs. When Russia cuts off the gas during the winter and Germany is freezing to DH, they will come to NATO and demand something be done. Since we have agreed that if one country is attacked, we all respond, that puts America in an untenable position. They are giving billions of dollars to Russia who is using that money to plot a world war and attack freedom around the globe. How is that not a betrayal of NATO and the Allied resistance? Why should we protect them against Russia when they willingly put their heads on their comrades' chopping block? Over the years I have grown increasingly weary of the snobs in Europe and their idiocy. They fling open their borders and allow their people to be terrorized by migrants and roving gangs. They spend far more than they make and then want to be bailed out. They make pacts with those who want to rule over them and then are surprised when war comes knocking at their door. It defies logic. This is not fair to Americans or to the United States in general. I'm into fairness these days. Call me a nationalist if you will, but I no longer have the tolerance I used to have for European Marxists. Europe needs to pay their fair share and a lot quicker than they are proposing. I don't want NATO disbanded, but it has to be made a fair deal where we each pay our fair share. And although I believe our presence is needed militarily in certain countries, many of our boys and girls should come home where they are needed as well. The southern border comes to mind. Currently, the amount we pay is so out of kilter, it's laughable. We get almost nothing for it just like at the UN. We should leave the UN and NATO needs a reality adjustment. Europe is making out like a bandit over this and Russia is laughing themselves silly, watching the US being taken advantage of and seeing the NATO alliance cat fighting among its membership. If Germany and others want to get their gas from Russia and China, fine. But we should not pay for their defense if they do. All of us should have skin in the game. America doesn't get to call the shots even though we pay most of the bill here. That needs to change one way or the other. As Steven Crowder put it, if they don't want us interfering with their defense and national policies, then we shouldn't interfere by paying for their defense. Trump cut right through the bullcrap on this one.
It's simple and he laid it out. It was magnificent. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.